Good. Okay. We have uh, once again contrasting colors. I like this. I like how uh, how our players are picking colors that work for our commentating. It makes it nice and easy on the eyes for people watching to differentiate. All right. So Sorry don't for... don't be fooled by this platinum portrait. This is our first diamond player being sent out by Guns and Roaches. They're gonna play on Cyber Forest, which is my favorite map on the pool. Uh, I like it too. because of the bright colors, you see everything clearly, nice uh, eye ground that are clear. The only s side note that I could have that is against this map is the amount of rock everywhere. When you play against a Terran and they abuse all those rock, you see their tank and attack on the other side, it's just nightmares. I think the grass and foliage looks great on this map. I, I'm I'm really impressed by uh, the map designers nowadays. They've done such a good job with the modern maps. Yeah, it makes me think of the the old map overgrowth. You know how clear it was, how everything was, the bright colors. You see everything. So it looks like our probe not... is going to beat the drone to the natural expansion and block this hatchery with either a pylon or just try to delay it with dancing around. Yeah, uh, Bunny's an expert of uh, pylon blocking, or just at least probe blocking that uh, expansion forever. Loses he the probe, care about but losing the probe. Yes, gets as the long as down. he forces the expansion to be anywhere else than in the natural place. The Zerg still go for the expansion. It didn't didn't decide to go for a pull first because of that. Just gets his first expansion where his third normally goes and will expand into his third at the same time he would normally be getting expand into his natural rather at the same time he would normally be getting his third. And he goes for the pool before the gas, which will delay a little his uh, link speed. We have a second gateway coming up and a cybernetics core behind that for the Protoss yeah. players. Still no Nexus. I think his pile his first pylon was off a little, so he wasn't able to put the cybernetic core in the wall because of that. Uh, small mistakes, but uh, if you end up with a Zerg like me, I cannot resi resist the, fast the fact that there's a pylon in the wall and I bind bust every single time I see a pylon there. <laughs> every single time. Now, I'm wondering, is, this, is the natural not down because he accidentally blocked it with his first pylon? Uh, no, the natural should be alright. Okay, yeah, there it goes. Just a little delayed. Overlord does see the the timing goes down. Right now, no it, production coming out of the gateways, but uh, warp gate is being researched. Yeah, you have the two gas in the main. The warp gate was Chronoboos once, which normally will mean a, a, an early aggression since the research time has already been decreased. But we see a stalker and a sentry. The Zerg taking a third, cutting all the gas in his main. So probably gonna go AV on the links. Poking into the front here, just to see what's going on. Stalker comes natural, out just in time to push it back. Yeah, natural reaction to any Zerg that. Uh, don't see any adepts coming out from those two gateways. The Overlord got a full scouting of everything in the base, a little too late for the Twilight console in the main. And we see a Roach Ryan for the Zerg. Trying to see it here, but it gets denied by Bunny. Killing it with the Stalker before he can get in range to see the Twilight Council, so he's still playing a little bit blind here. Shield battery going down in the front to help with any attempted busts or run bys. Yeah, Bunny is uh, always playing like his natural defensive. Roach Warren just finishing now for the Zerg player. Uh, Templar archive, so we might see something like uh, Templars. We don't see a Robo, so I don't think it's going to be like an Archon drop or something like that. We do see um, 
we do see charge being researched so it could be because he has not taken his third yet that this ends up being a seven gate charge lot attack with um with archons behind it still no they're robo they're, so they are starting for the zerg renegade finally getting the scout that he needs seeing the twilight council researching seeing the, the templar archives and what does he do he's building his lair he's going uh-oh I need to do something about this possible charge lot attack. Yeah, charge lot with Archon. Just hard to hold across three bases with without speed roaches. So the lair will be done soon. But we don't see any robo for, from the Protoss, so at least there won't be any warp prism for the Zerg. No, going up to five gas as well as the Zerg, as the Zerg player. And still no third from our Protoss friend here, so I'm thinking this may end up as an all-in. Tree base saturated for the Zerg. So, I don't know when the all-in is gonna come, but if it's not soon, that Zerg is gonna be on them. An amazing economy that is gonna be able to feed the 200 uh, yeah, supply we're... roaches in a matter of seconds. Yeah, we're already kind of passing the time that a two base all-in timing hits it looks like he's moving out now this is a little bit late but it can still work those few li uh, links are clearing those rocks to uh, for an eventual third aggression now the Protoss is getting um, is getting storm behind this so is, is he planning to take a third and go into a macro game behind this or is this is the storm just uh, a mistake I, I kind of see it like a defensive build yeah, that's, that's true. Because at the moment, he okay. doesn't have the, the production to do anything aggressive. He needs more pylons, he needs more gateways. At the moment, it's only like harassment matter. He's going to kill all the the overlord he finds on the map, but he has nothing to put aggression on that. So. Third base is getting denied by the single zergling. We see already a 50 supply dif difference between both player. There's a uh, 40 drones, uh, 14 drones advantage for the Zerg. I think the more this game is going on, the more that Zerg is gonna win. But the chance that he's gonna win are high. So the score right now is um, is 2-2, right? Between the two uh, teams. Yeah. 2-2. Two two. Two. Okay. 2-2. Two two. Making sure that I'm I'm still keeping track of this. I did hit my head yesterday, so I apologize when <laughs> I slur my words or forget things. So those roaches with the Hydras should be enough, unless the storm do too much damage. There's a good to storm, and the archons. There are two more archons here to help clean this up, but it doesn't look like it's enough zealots, and the archons are exposed to the roaches and hydras, yeah. and this yeah, is not, not looking good. To storm again. Zealot warp in happens, but. It's only a matter of time before these roaches clear up this Protoss force and finish off this third base. Yeah, just look at the supply. This Cancelled. So he, he sees the inevitability and, and pulls back. So he has a robo and two gateways going on. He's going for immortals, which is a re regular reaction. But if you see the Zerg has a spire going on. Uh, normally, some Zerg do that. They show roaches. The Protoss goes for a two... Robo Immortal to counter this, and they just swarm the base with 10, 20 mutas and destroy the Protoss. It's even more a thing now that uh, he knows that the Protoss is still on two base. That's uh, tragic. He had to kill his own pylon in order to get the uh, the Archons out. They were just a little bit too chubby. <laughs> I'm moving to it towards his third, and not seeing this this army from the Zerg. I don't know if this is going to be curtains, but it looks very bad. This is a very large army compared to what our That's Protoss friend has fielded. The yeah, the Zerg is going to clean this up, finish off this, this third base for the second time, and I think our GG is just seconds away. Yeah, I think the our Sergeant Bunny is ready. Yeah. And there it is. <laughs> GG, well played. This is... Um, this makes it a 3 to 2 map score for the risen team. And I think it's uh, I think it's me now, is it not? 
Yeah, you're the next to play, so... Um... So this uh, this stream now becomes a first-person VOD stream. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I cannot cast with you because you will hear what I was saying, so... You're, you have no obligation to stream it. If you want to stop to not be deconcentrated or whatever, you can just stop. Otherwise, yeah, good luck, have fun. Thank you very much. I'll stream my first-person VOD um, with the regular delay. <laughs> 